I want to talk very briefly about JavaScript and why I'm so excited about it. It's a long story. Uh, started in 1995 when JavaScript was first released. We got pretty interested in it. We published our first book, David Flanagan's JavaScript, The Definitive Guide in 1996. It's gone on to sell more than half a million copies. So we knew there was something there. But I was really struck by the fact that people never took JavaScript all that seriously. You know, back in the beginning, everybody said, well, it's kind of a toy language. You know, it's not, it's not for real programmers. And of course, yeah, if you look at the evolution over the last 17 years, it's very clear that now it is quite possibly the language for so many developers. Um, and I thought of a story that I wanted to share with you. It's been um, fairly instrumental in my thinking over the years. It's a, a Sherlock Holmes story called Silver Blaze. I don't know if you've ever read it. But it has a wonderful passage in it uh, that in some ways captures a lot of what I've done in my career. Uh, there's an interaction between Sherlock Holmes and a Scotland Yard detective. The detective says, is there any other point to which you would wish to draw my attention? And Holmes says, to the curious incident of the dog in the nighttime. And the detective says, the dog did nothing in the nighttime. And Holmes says, that was the curious incident. And uh, it is so many times when the thing that's staring us in the face that nobody is noticing is exactly what you want to notice. Now, you have to go read the story to understand why the fact that the dog did nothing was so curious. Uh, but I'll tell you that when I started my open source activism in 1996, 97, with the launch of the Pearl Conference, it was a curious incident of the dog in the nighttime. It was literally, why is nobody talking about this stuff? Uh, you know, our book, Programming Pearl, was the top-selling book at Borders in 96, and nobody noticed. And so I said, let me make some noise. But then when I organized the Open Source Summit, and everybody was all excited about, uh, you know, Linux, I said, why is nobody talking about these other things? And in particular, I was really interested in what was happening over on the Internet. And people slowly realized that things like Apache and send mail mattered. But even then, JavaScript didn't get its full due as one of the great languages. And maybe it's precisely because JavaScript was so disruptive, because it was bringing into the client the full power of programming. And like so many disruptive technologies, it didn't do everything. But the things that it did made new things possible. And those new things grew. You know, if you've ever read Clay Christensen's work, you know that disruptive technologies break open new markets doing things that people didn't think needed to be done. And JavaScript has followed that, that course so beautifully. And here we are today. You know, you look at the richness and the uh, uh, power of what's being done with JavaScript, and you realize this is a language that has truly grown up. And I'm proud to you know, have been uh, you know, very early to support JavaScript, to be interested in it. And I'm really fantastically happy that we now have a conference on it. So thanks so much for coming. And uh, you know, keep doing the great work that you're doing. Thank you.